order to get it too. The well, that's listen, let's not let's leave that one alone. Sorry, yeah. Carlo taking y'all somewhere that y'all ain't ready to go right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? But there are, there was a time when the, there are some costs that the lender had. To, I mean, the seller had to pay that the buyer couldn't pay. That's why they say guideline underwriting guideline of the buyer's lender. So there might be some costs, you know, that a buyer couldn't pay, especially with VA back in the day. But then we'll leave that one alone, Carlos. Easy now. <laughs> All right, go on, Miss Mills. Seller's contribution. Their contribution should exclude any repairs um, to the property. You have to, um, those are separate um, costs. Mm hmm. Go on, finish reading. <laughs> <laughs> she trying to make me believe she ain't reading. Uh -oh. <laughs> Go on, finish reading. <laughs> um, um, any, any repair costs have to be negotiated um, um, between the buyer and seller. Well, get the last one out of the way. Go read the last sentence. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And for those of you, if I ask you something you can't explain it, then just read it. Nothing wrong with reading it twice because we ain't got it. Read it again. Ain't nothing saying you got to act like you know it. You don't know it, you don't know it. That's why we're here. So if somebody reads it, I say explain it. You can't explain it, read it then. Like she doing. The seller does an um say that they're gonna they're offering any closing costs at all. Uh, they do, they do not authorize the listing listing um uh, firm to um say that they're offering any closing costs if they um, Is that right what she just said? It's the opposite. It's the opposite of what you're saying. And why is it the opposite? To pay, um, contribution huh? isn't included. Say again now? Their willingness to um, pay seller's contribution isn't included, unless when they decide they want to include it. No, they're saying that they're authorizing they authorize. us yeah. as the right. listing firm to disclose, disclose that information. So when I go to when I offer it to the buyer, I can tell they them my seller is offer. willing. But it says they're they're giving us they're allowing us to disclose that information. Okay. So they're allowing us to say we're giving you two thousand dollars towards right. close. Seller authorizes listing firm mm -hmm. to disclose mm -hmm. seller's willingness to pay mm -hmm. seller's contribution and agrees to pay seller's contribution in an amount not to exceed whatever it is. So the seller said, go in if they, they want to know, tell them that I'm willing to pay. They don't have to put a um, amount, right? They don't if have zero, to then we don't right. have anything to right. disclose. Right. Okay. That's just authorizing a listing firm to be able to disclose it if, if it needs. Yeah. If we put a dollar amount in there. Well, let's say, yeah. That, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Go ahead. Say we if put $2,000 in there. We put it, we agree to put it, if we agree to put it, if we agree to put it, as a listing firm, they say, I'm giving $2,000. Okay. And I, then I'm putting that two thousand dollars in here. Then I'm. They are saying, tell them that I'm giving them two thousand okay. dollars. If we leave it blank so to negotiate later, then there is nothing to disclose. So there's nothing to tell anyway. It's zero. And where can you where can you tell the agents non-verbally? Where? Yes. At the, at the About that two thousand dollars. The sub agents and the other salespersons. Oh, On the listing. <laughs> What do, you, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, if you, I'll just tell you though, if, you, if, the, if, if you're going to put $2,000 in the listing, you just told her, she's giving you permission to tell everybody. Who are you going to tell? I'll ask you, where do you tell them at? You, you don't call 8,000 agents. Yeah, where do you tell, uh, yeah, well, where can you tell the other agents that the $2,000? In the listing, like Amy said. In agents only. Right, yeah. Okay, so let's say it's zero. So then you don't put anything. Right. Okay. You know? <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm too much money. Trip you up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all make it too easy to trip y'all up. All right, number four, Leticia. Question, yes. Can we go back a sentence? And can you explain the whole sentence instead of breaking down the sentence? Which one? The sentence is, um, seller's contribution shall expressly exclude any cost or expenses associated with the repair of the property 
or the negotiated between the buyer and seller or otherwise required under the terms of the agreement of sale. Okay, Ms. Mills, finish that one up. Oh, Jennifer, you want that? Can you do the whole sentence? Well, to me, to me it means if you and I agree that that door is broken and you want that door broken before you buy this house, that's not coming out of your 2,000 votes. Okay, that's not coming. I'm going to fix that door that's for you. Addition. Addition An addition, but we, got, we settled that on the side. Okay. That's not counting what I'm going to give you to contribute to your Okay, that's what, that's what I say it is. Sure. Right, that's it. Seller's contribution shall expressly exclude any costs or expenses associated with the repair of the property. So basically what it's saying is also if you if you if they say uh we're gonna give you two thousand dollars and you write the contract and it's good and then you do a home inspection, they come back with whatever and he say, Well look, I gave him two thousand, tell him to take that that and fix that. Exactly. You can't do that. Exactly. So why some agents will some, some agents will get you out of there. Well, you see page one, you be like, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, come call my buyer. <laughs> 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 okay, number four. This is a big one, Letitia. Seller authorization. This firm shall be bound by rules and regulations of real real estate information network group, otherwise known as RAID, with respect to the sale of the property. Seller and distant firm hereby transfer and assign to Rain all rights of ownership and copyright to all information, including photographs and sketches submitted to Rain regarding the property. Seller and distant firm represent and warrant that they are the owners of such information and agree to identify and hold Rain homeless for any claim brought against Rain arising out of Rain's use of such information. Okay, hold on. We've got to break this one down a little bit. Now, Madeline, explain the first, what she just read. Number four is seller authorization. Now you gotta, there's something called clearing the word that you gotta understand. When you, when you read a lot, which a lot of us don't do, when you read, I don't care what you're reading, you have to understand a certain amount of words if you read a story and you don't understand the words that are in the story, then you can't get what? Any meaning. Any meaning out of it. You see what I'm saying? A lot of folks will read something and every other word they don't understand. They just, you know, but then they get done and say, I read this book. And then you say, well, what was it about? They say, how, who the hell are you at? How, how, how about no? You see what I'm saying? So if you read something, you got to read for what? Understanding. For understanding and for meaning. See, that's what this contract is all about. And we're being paid to pass on this understanding to our clients. That's why we get paid. Not to go over to their house and read the contract to them. You have to know the contract. If they want to read it, let them read it. Don't you get caught over there reading it. Because you already know it and you already understand it or at least you better understand it you know what I'm saying so stop reading things and not understanding don't be afraid you know until you read more and more that's all really you can't get it no other way so seller authorization just the you know if you read some of the, if you just get some of the titles down same thing with the real estate course it's mostly a, the whole thing is about definitions if you can get the title of something, you should basically be able to have a general idea what that paragraph is going to tell you. So when you see paragraph number four, and I do one of my fifty dollar tests, like right now I can say fifty bucks right now, somebody tell me what number four means. I can say you. you know what I'm saying? I'll say <laughs> hypothetical. Oh. <laughs> and I say, what does seller what does this parag what does this paragraph mean? The, the I mean if you got a seller who can't understand or anything. When you say seller authorization, I can get through that paragraph and say something that has nothing to do with that paragraph. You know what I'm saying? I can say paragraph four, seller authorization, I mean you authorize me that through anything, you know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you give me the authority to do something. That's all that means. And keep on moving. They'll be like, okay. You authorized to put the house on the market. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But see, it says so much more than that. So, but agents out here, that's what they're doing. So, uh, seller authorized, you authorized my company to put a sign in the yard. And then get to the part where the sign, they'd be like, oh, this is repeat. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, 
You know what I'm saying? You all find me put a lockbox in front of your house and then get to the side say, uh, uh, pack say lockbox. Be like, oh, uh, there's two of them in there. Okay? Oh, this one here just a reminder of page one. So, Madeline, number four. So when you hear the word, when you hear seller authorization, you ought to be like, okay, this paragraph means something like um, that the seller who is, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, give me a minute. You know what I'm saying? The 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 seller uh the the uh the the uh the 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 seller uh the the uh excuse me that's ten doves in one sentence you out of here. The set seller authorization. Hmm. The seller is giving me permission, yeah, to do something or authorize. You know what I mean? So just look. Don't be afraid. Read this stuff. It's very simple. And the paragraph property, let me see, number one, property, um, that's got, uh, 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 not looking at all of it right now, hold on a minute, uh, property, that means that I'm talking about the, um, I think the house where the sellers live at that I'm selling, that's it, you know what I'm saying? The sale price, um, um, that's talking about that the buyers have to paint the kitchen to match the dining room when they move in. You see what I'm saying? That's what agents are doing out here. Unbelievable. But that's what they're doing. All right? Madeline, seller authorization. I know you read it about five times as I called you, so <laughs> you should be ready by now. <laughs> and like I said, if you don't know it, then just read it to us. Say again? Hold on now, wait, 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 wait. I, you say seller, I see listing firm. Okay, so do that again. Oh, I said the seller authorized the listing firm to put the information in RAIN, um, and that RAIN is not to be held liable uh, for the information that was... Y'all do me a favor tonight. If you don't know it, then read it. Spare all these people your inability to understand what we're asking you to do. So the first thing I would have said is that the listing firm shall be bound by the rules and regulations. That's what it says first. It don't start off talking about what no seller authorizing us to do. Okay. We, she read four sentences. And if I say explain those four, so how are you going to skip over the first part of it and go down there and talk about the seller won't hold rain harmless or something? That's not what it's doing. So see, you're messing us up. Okay. So do me a favor. If you don't have a better explanation than this right here, then just read it to us so we can move on. Madeline, number four, seller authorization. Listing firm should be bound by rules and regulations of real estate information network um, with respect to the sale of the property. Seller and listing firm hereby transfers and assign their assigned to reign all rights uh, of ownership and copyright of all information, including photographs and sketches submitted to reign regarding the property. Okay, now for a second then. Now that second thought in that paragraph right there, what is that saying? Did y'all know that was happening? What? Who said mm-hmm? Who said mm-hmm? Mm-hmm. Well, you hang around me, Jennifer, so you're supposed to know. I'm sorry. But anyway, explain it to him. <laughs> Tell him what you knew. The mm-hmm that all of the photographs are taken by rain, all of the, once you turn everything in to, um, to rain, it's their property. It's, it's in their possession and... Um, Is there what? We have to follow, well, it's like <coughs> the picture. That's their picture. It's not ours. It's their, it's their ownership, it's their ownership and we're, we are following their rules and regulations by um, submitting all of that information to Rain, and, it, and at that point it's turned over to Rain, and it's theirs. It's their, cop, it's, they have the copyright. So basically, if they take this picture, <laughs> on if they take this picture and put it on the billboard and it say Rain and they're using your house, you can't go and sue them and say, hey, because they have the rights to what? Not the ownership. To advertise. To the, market, to the, the marketing what? The information. To the information. Yeah, to the information. You say it's their property. It's not their property. Their, well, it's, 
It's not their property. Because we're following their rules and regulations. Yeah. But it's not their property. It's not their house. It's their information. Right. information. You said it's their property. I didn't mean it, it was says, their house. Right. It says ownership of information. I meant the Yeah, it's range information. Okay. Information. You see what I'm saying? Information of the property. Right. Yeah, it's not their property. I know it's not their property. Okay, you said it was their property. But it's not their property. But is that right for the photographs? They can use it on the billboard if they want to. And yeah, but I mean, but at the same time, they have to follow the rules too. Right. No, they can't just do anything with it that they want to do with it. You know what I mean? Well, that's why they said they have the copyright information because they got to find all those guidelines. Yeah, but that's right. But the idea. Ownership and copyright. It says they have rights of ownership and copyright. To, is of the, to of the all, to, let me finish the sentence, okay, the last three words in there, on your ID, it says, to all information. That's what it says. They don't, they don't have the right to go to the house, they don't have keys to the property, so it's, not, it's the information. It's, it's the real estate information network, okay? Not the real estate property right and ownership company, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's only information. It's only a listing that prints up and has information to pass on so all the agents can go by and get it. All right? Okay, next. Madeline, what's next? Oh, so we're enlisting for a representative more than they are the owners of such information agree, and agree to indemnify. 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 That's a mean word, y'all. Yeah, exactly. What does it mean? We'll get to it in a minute because I might have some money on it if y'all don't know what it is. Okay. And, and like, yeah, that's homeless for any claim um, brought against rain arising out of rain um, use of such information. Okay, seller and listing firm. All right, somebody give me that idea there. What are they saying there? And the listing firm, the ones, they're talking to one another. Hmm? The seller and the listing firm, you, the agent who's representing your company, the listing firm, talking to the seller, giving Ray information of the property. I'm asking, what does that sentence mean? The property, saying that the sellers are the owners of the property. Go ahead, CJ. It says that um, the seller and the listing firm. Okay. Agree or represent that. Listen up, y'all. The seller and the listing firm represent and warrant that they own the information they're providing to. What does that mean? That means that they can't come back and sue Rain. No, what does that mean? The seller and the listing firm waive any claims. Information is correct that they gave. Okay. Say that again. No, they own the information they're providing to it. Which is, so that so it said the seller at the seller. Okay, the, the seller is the person who got a house for sale. Yeah. Right. Now the listing firm is the it's is the agent the right going over there to get the listing right. Yeah. The seller and listing firm represent yeah. and warrant. That they are the owners of what? The information. Of the information. What information? That you give to Rain. Now y'all said everything else except that. I said that. You said what? I said that the information is correct. I didn't hear that. See, y'all gonna get me hot in a minute. You know why? Because when I ask the questions, and you can't answer it right, and then when the answer comes out, you say, I said that. Watch that. That burns me up. Answer. All right? Because you're not getting the full understanding, because if you did, I'd say that's right. Okay, getting bits and pieces of it is not, it's not the, you know, you got to have an understanding of it. And I'm not saying cause you got one word that makes sense or sound like it. it's part of the answer. But the bottom line to this answer right here, we're just asking for right here about what the seller and the listing firm represent and warrant. That they are the owners. So when you do a listing, you fill out the forms, you're representing, right? And you're guaranteeing 
that you wrote down the correct property address, the correct heating system, the correct type of hot water heater. So when you give the information to rain, right? So when rain gets it and put it into their system, now they got to spread it out into the MLS system for all the other agents to see. So they don't want to be a part of a situation where the information given to them is being spread to the professionals out here who are trying to do a good job and show houses to their clients that have the things that they want. And when they get to these houses, that stuff is not in there. It's the wrong information. You understand? So we got a responsibility to put the right information on these listing forms. That's what it's saying. All right? That's what it's saying. It ain't saying all the other stuff. See, it's deeper than that. You know, there's a reason why Rain is asking you to warrant and represent the information you're giving to them. Because they're taking responsibility for putting it on the street. You see what I'm saying? Now that's the answer. Now if you didn't have it before, now you got it. Indemnify what does it mean to indemnify something? Okay. That means that you're releasing rain of all responsibility, saying you cannot come back and sue them. Thank you. And agree to indemnify and hold rain harmless for any claim brought against rain arising out of rain's use of such information. What information is Rain afraid of being sued for? The information, the information you gave them because you're the listing agent. You and that seller out there in that house in the dark with that candle writing down new carpet and new paint and a new roof and a, a you know a good structure and no termite damage and they get out there and the house needs to be destroyed. You see what I'm saying? So Rain's saying, you know, hey, Okay, we're going to put it on the MLS, but you make sure you're doing your job because you can't sue us for any information you put in this computer that's jacked up. You understand? Okay, go ahead, Leticia. You can move on. Seller and listing firm waive any claims that Rain's use of the information is unlawful because Rain did not properly obtain rights to use such information. Seller authorizes distant firm to submit information concerning the property to Rain or any other multiple distant service for publication and seller and distant firm shall allow such information to be used by Rain or any other entity for any lawful purpose, including the internet as deemed, as deemed appropriate by Rain or another entity. Okay, let's stop right there. Somebody explain that one. No, you read it. Somebody else got to explain it. Yeah, it's mighty quiet in here. This is saying that the list that the seller is saying that it's okay for the listing firm to put all the information into Rain system, and Rain can use it whether they put it well actually the MLS system, but they can also put it on the internet or any other publication. Anybody agree with that? Why not? I, I agree with a portion of it, but I also feel like it's also telling. Because then we start with the part that said that we're not going to, we're not going to, the seller authorized <coughs> list of firm to submit information. Is that where we were? Yes. Okay. And it says, or any other multiple. But for, it says, what did it say about, hold up. Oh, okay, right here, right here. It says that information is unlawful because Rain did not properly obtain rights to use such information. Did we, didn't we start with that sentence? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just wanted to add that, you know, that part as well is that we're saying that they did not prop, not un, or not did not properly obtain those rights because we've already said that whatever information we submit to them is going to be we're guaranteeing it. You know what I'm saying? So we're not going to come back and sue them because all the information we give them is what is honest and true. Right. To the best of our knowledge. Yeah. Anybody right, follow that? Right. Yeah. Saying that rain didn't. Get the uh, information without the seller or listing agent knowing. Okay, so now she was right, but you added in what you added in. Anybody following this? No. Y'all might be quiet in here. No. Somebody don't get this. Where y'all at? Jennifer, where you at? I'm right with you. But, but uh, give it to us again. 
Letitia, where'd you start at? Because we don't yeah, know where you started at. Seller and this firm waive any claims that Rain's use of the information is unlawful because because Rain did not properly obtain rights to use such information. Okay. That's what it started at. All right, Jennifer, get us quickly. Finish it up for us. Now, may I continue reading? No, just explain to us what they just explained. I didn't say she was wrong. I know, but why don't I repeat it? She said it better. Can you say it again, Anita? <laughs> 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 I wasn't saying that it was wrong. No, she just missed the first sentence, that's all. So she broke that down and she was right. Give it to us again. I'm still doing this. No, no. no Anita. 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 The seller and listing firm waive any claims that Rain's use of information is unlawful. So in other words, all this is saying is that we're not going to try to sue Rain because we're giving them improper information. Because we're going to give them the proper information and then we're going to authorize the listing firm. The seller will authorize the listing firm, which is us, to submit this information into Rain or any other MLS system or internet or any other publication that Rain would like to use it for lawful purpose to sell this property. Oh. So, uh, yeah, Mr. Shealy, basically we put the information in. So Rain said we're not putting it in, we're just putting it out there, which you submit into the system. All right. And you can't hold us accountable for the information that you put in. If you put in good information, it's good information. Put in garbage, we got garbage. That's your fault, not mine. And the seller and the agent signs the bottom, so y'all are responsible for the information that goes in. And what does that do for everybody else? If Rain can hold these agents to, and if we can become better at doing this, what does that do for everybody else? Holds them accountable. Right? So what, I mean, what does that do for the marketplace? Makes it makes it correct, yeah. Makes it credible. So when you have a buyer that wants to buy a house, you put up a printout. The information on is, you know, you can pretty much, you know, you, you can trust it a little bit. And hopefully by the time you get to the house, it's somewhere close to what you read. Yeah. You know what I mean? That makes sense. What if it's not? How many times have you gone to a listing that says new, new, this, new carpet, new paint, beautiful, every, boom, everything beautiful, just wonderful, and just, you know what I mean, gold faucets and everything, and get out there. And your buyers are ready to leave you and get a better agent because <laughs> you showing them crap. You should report it. You know what I'm saying? They mad at you now. You're like, well, this is my first time seeing the house too. They're like, well, you know, you, we, we told you we didn't want to see nothing this, this, this jacked up. And you reading the print, you call the agent, man, this sounds, sounds really good. So what do you do about that? Your buyers walk on you because they mad at you because you showed them a house that was jacked up and was totally just... Disgusting, but it's not, but you read it sounded really good. So what you do about that is before you get your clients out the you car, you say it. sit here and I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> and you go in the house and you check it out and then you come out and say come on let's go. Let's go <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me see if my key. I know y'all the big guy house. <laughs> my key might not work. I might have the wrong phone. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I mean, there's some things that really are gonna be tough on you guys with these clients out here. Cause see, you're dealing with strangers. They get in your car, you're nervous, and everything. You don't know how people are gonna be acting funny and stuff. You, you know, they might be blaming you for something that you have nothing to do with. So hopefully, if every agent that's licensed takes pride in what he does, takes pride in the listings that he get. If the house is jacked up and whatever, make sure you let. Don't you know? Do the right thing with this stuff. Don't just try to lure all the agents out there just to sell it. You know what I mean? Which we all do. But if we all show some integrity in what we're doing out here by listing houses and being honest with the sellers, especially now, 
You really got to, this is what the listing appointment is all about now. You got to really go to your seller and you got to tell them you got a dilemma. What's the dilemma? There's not enough buyers out there. That you want to tell them the truth. At least let me get the money out of my pocket next time, Ms. Mills. Exactly. Well, on the, on the, can I ask of course. On the flip side of that, because how do you, I mean, obviously this is not something that's brand new to the real estate. And you're getting what you're getting. You're walking into something that might be completely opposite. I mean, how do you keep your buyer from being pissed off at you? And what is your recourse? What, what do you do? I mean, I know you can view, but if I got 10 properties I'm showing this Saturday, am I supposed to leave them in a car every 10 stops? No. No, 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 no. no. I'm just for you then to take them out there. Do what? You go view it first. No. I mean, that's, that's a waste of time. We don't preview houses. No. Look here. What you do is you go in there and you be honest with your clients. And when you go in there and you see that it's messed up, you say, this ain't the listening. This is not what we came here to see. Everything in here is false. If you want to continue to look at it, that's fine. But we're going to leave and I'm going to talk to my broker about this listing. You just let them know that, you know, I'm on your side and this ain't me right here. So I ain't the reason this is jacked up. It's my first time seeing it. They lied to me. You know what I mean? Let them know. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, hey. You, hey I'm, just, I'm just as surprised as you out of this place to up. Let's, ooh, let's get out of here, girl. You know what I'm saying? You better start doing something. Let them know that you ain't with that other agent. You understand? That's all because it's not your fault. You know what I mean? You don't want to ride around all over town previewing houses. You know what I mean? For two days. And then they say, well, we want to go to uh, you all in Virginia Beach looking at 10 houses. And they say, oh, let's go to Suffolk. You say, but I previewed 10 houses in Virginia Beach. They say, well, we'll, we'll, we'll just sit Suffolk. What? You can't hear it? <laughs> and you, <laughs> you mad because you've been out all day looking at the houses in Virginia Beach. They say, now we want to go to Suffolk. You say, well, no, I got 10 houses already previewed. They say, well, we hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you keep on previewing, okay? <laughs> so... Okay, let's go on, uh, Leticia, the, uh, the last third of this paragraph, please. Seller agrees that all RAIN members and licensed real estate brokers or their agents may show the property and that seller shall offer cooperation whether the buyer is assisted by a selling sub-agent, by a broker agent, or other licensee acting on behalf of the buyer, collectively the selling firm. The parties shall comply with all local, state, and federal laws rules and regulations in connection with the listed and sell the property, including but not limited to the U.S. Fair Housing Act. Seller expressly agrees that it is consideration for the agreement of RAIN to enter the information concerning the property in his database. RAIN and his members shall be entitled to rely on statements and authorizations made by seller in this agreement and shall be deemed to be third-party beneficiaries of this agreement. <laughs> Who wants that last third? Break it down to us. Well, yeah. You can show the seller. What's up, Mr. The seller is agreeing that the house will be open for showing for agents. <laughs> Let me get this one on camera. Or any other licensee acting on behalf of the buyer. And that the party shall comply with all the local, state, and federal laws, um, but not limited to, well, I'm going to skip over, okay, federal laws, rules and regulations in connection, connection with the listing and the sale of the property, including but not limited to the, the U.S. Fair Housing Act. Um, and then the seller expressly agrees that as consideration for the agreement of rent to enter the information concerning the property, in its database. RAIN and its members shall be entitled to rely on statements and authorizations made by the seller in this agreement and shall be deemed to be third-party beneficiaries of this agreement. Um, in other words, they're just agreeing that what is put in the RAIN is correct information from, this, from the listing agent or the seller, the seller and the listing agent. Still What's the U.S. Fair Housing Act? The U.S. Fair Housing Act. <laughs> yeah. Anybody got any information on that? Discrimination based on color, race, color, At least wait till I get the money out of my pocket next time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were a little too quick right there. You were just, uh, Can I rewind? Exactly. <laughs> so now, where would you see something where the definition of collectively the selling firm would apply? 
those of you who have seen the two data forms that go with these, where would collectively the selling firm? What does that mean? It means together, but I haven't seen the form. Okay, well then, if you haven't seen the form, I'd suggest you just not answer this one first. <laughs> <laughs> 